I'm glad to see you again. I can't wait to see what will happen next. Uh, Are you familiar with Schrodinger's cat? A little. Until you decide what happens, everything is happening at once. Like in Detroit. Okay. <laughs> Way to make me feel- Oh no, she looks all worried about it! Like in Detroit! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> okay! Top of the morning, you ladies! My name is Jack Septiguy, and welcome back to Detroit Become Human! Last time, we led our peaceful protest as Marcus and our girl, uh, Karen here is giving us some existentialism. She seems like she's working through some stuff. She looks like a baby who's about to take a shit. <laughs> Doesn't really know what's happening, like, what is this feeling? I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Um, so what's gonna happen next? I have no idea, but now the people know that we are serious about our cause with Marcus. Um, Connor's starting to go through some changes. Connor seems like he's starting to, uh, wake up. Hey, speak of my boys! <laughs> Connor and Hank. Ah. Is he just giving a report? He's back in his mind palace again. Where he meets Amanda all the time. What's up, Hankford? Is everything okay, Lieutenant? Chris was on patrol last night. He was attacked by a bunch of deviants. Said he was saved by Marcus himself. Ah, oh, that was Chris! Was Chris okay? Yeah, he's in shock, but he's alive. Oh, that's cool. What the hell? He's beginning to believe. Uh, Kamsky, is that why we're here? Kamsky left Cyberlife ten years ago. Why did you want to meet him? <laughs> this guy created the first android to pass the Turing test. And he's the founder of Cyberlife. Anybody can tell us about Deviants, it's him. Okay. And Kamsky... So he's the leader of Cyberlife. He created the first robot to pass the Turing test. Um, which is a test designed to fool humans into thinking that the robot is real boil down to his basics. Um, and he's also the one who gave Carol Marcus. So he made Marcus and gave Marcus to Carol. Hmm, curious. Oh, I still have my coin. Can't stop me from doing tricks, Lieutenant. Hello? Hi, uh, I'm, uh, Lieutenant Hank Anderson, Detroit Police Department. I'm here to see, uh, Mr. Elijah Kamsky. Please, come in. She's the lady from the main menu! Okay. Oh, it makes sense. Is she the one that passed the Turing test? I'll let Elijah know you're here, but please make yourself comfortable. Is that what the main menu is? The main menu itself is a Turing test. Because she's testing me. Oh, weird! Very ostentatious house. No, I don't want to sit down. I was almost going to do it. I want to continue looking around. Is that him? Nice girl. Uh, that's Elijah. You're right. Oh. She's really pretty. Nice place. You got a crush there, Connor? Elijah Kamsky, Cyberlife founder, resigned in 2028, inventor of Ethereum and biocomponents technology. Mm. Guess androids haven't been a bad thing for everybody. Nope. There's a big Eye of Sauron painting You're right there. About to meet your maker, Connor. Is it Amanda? Amanda. An AI professor at the University of Colbridge. She's dead! 
When I was an er, I was. Elijah was an AI graduate at the University of Colbridge. So Amanda is a software or an android based on Amanda Stern. Oh, it's all starting to make sense. So Connor goes back into his mind palace or into the Zen garden where he talks to Amanda, but Amanda is a self-regulating piece of software to keep him in check. Because he said he, 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 um, does tests regularly and he, like, makes sure that he's not a deviant. So she's there to make sure that he's not deviating. And that's why, maybe that's why he's a prototype? Oh, so was that How made by Kamsky? Uh, what did you ask me about meeting my maker? Um, I'm eager. Kamsky is one of the great geniuses of the 21st century. It'll be interesting to meet him in person. Sure will. Sometimes I wish I could meet my creator face to face. I'd have a couple of things I'd want to tell him. Oh, Hank, who hurt you? Who hurt my beautiful boy? Oh, I just want you to be okay, Hank. Ooh, what's this? A bookie book. Well, we're waiting around for her to come back anyway, so why not read it? Space tourism on the rise. Do you have a better one that I can read? Cyberlife's fortune teller computer. This is what I'm talking about. Cyberlife has unveiled a new quantum supercomputer made out of exaflops. Didn't I read this? I read this already. The exaflops and the billion billion and to stop the calamities and all that. And that's what I said, that's probably what Marcus is. He is a supercomputer in his brain so he's able to pre-calculate stuff, or at least to some degree. I don't know. Maybe we'll figure it all out by the end. That's a weird sculpture. Oh! Hey, you're back! Glad you will see you now. Damn, this is getting really interesting. Get information from Kamsky. This is very ex machina. If you have if you want to watch a Mr. really Kamsky. good movie... Oh my god, there's Just more a moment, there. please. There's more Karens right there. I don't know what the real names are, um, but I'm going to keep calling them Karen. Um, if you want to watch a really good movie about androids and the Turing test and everything, watch Ex Machina. Fantastic movie, and it's basically this. Kamsky is like one of the characters in the movie. Um, and you go to his house and everything. Um, very good movie. I would highly recommend it, especially after watching this series. Oh my god, are you swimming in red ice? Nice place you got here. <gasps> the picture! That looks a lot like the one Marcus drew in Carl's house. This is all starting to come together, folks. Oh, cool buildings. This game is phenomenal looking. I really like the look of this game. Yo, what's up, Kepski? Nice package. They're just talking to each other. I'm Lieutenant Anderson. This is Connor. My name is Connor. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lieutenant? Sir, we're investigating deviants. I know you left Cyberlife years ago, but I was hoping you'd be able to tell us something we don't know. Deviants. Fascinating, aren't they? Perfect beings with infinite intelligence. And now they have free will. Don't know about that. Machines are so superior to us. Confrontation was inevitable. Humanity's greatest achievement threatens to be its downfall. Isn't it ironic? Um, we need to know about deviants. Something in the deviants program seems to emulate emotion. We thought you might know something about how that occurs. All ideas of viruses that spread like epidemics. Is the desire to be free a contagious disease? Listen, I didn't come here to talk philosophy. The machines you created may be planning a revolution. I love Hank. 
Either you can tell us something that'll be helpful, or we will be on our way. What about you, Connor? Uh-oh. Whose side are you on? Uh... I don't know. It's not about me, Mr. Kamsky. All I want is to solve this case. <laughs> well, that's what you're programmed to say. But you. What do you really want? Troubled, neutral, defensive... I, uh, neutral? I don't want anything. I am a machine. Chloe? Chloe is her name. I'm sure you're familiar with the Turing test. Your formality. Simple question of algorithms and computing capacity. What interests me is whether machines are capable of empathy. I call it the Kamsky test. It's very simple, you'll see. Magnificent, isn't it? Nervous. One of the first intelligent models developed by CyberLife. Young and beautiful forever. A flower that will never wither. What is it really? A piece of plastic containing a human? Or a living being? With a soul? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's up to you to answer that uh. fascinating question, Connor. Destroy this machine, and I'll tell you all I know. Or spare it. If you feel it's alive. This is the Kamsky test. But you'll leave here without having learned anything from I'm Not shooting anything. Okay, I think we're done here. Come on, Connor, let's go. Sorry to get you What's out of here. What's more important to you, Connor? Your investigation or the life of this android? Oh, android! Android! Android life! Decide who you are. An obedient machine. Or a living being. Oh, endowed you son of a bitch. With free will. That's enough. Connor, we're leaving. Pull the trigger. Ooh. Connor! Don't! The devil and angel on my shoulder. Don't shoot, don't shoot. Okay, I'm making the right decision. Fascinating. Cyberlife's Ooh. last chance to save humanity is itself a deviant. I'm. I'm not a deviant. You prefer to spare a machine rather than accomplish your mission. You saw a living being in this android. You showed empathy. Damn. A war is coming. You'll have to choose your side. Will you betray your own people or stand up against your creators? I think I just did pick my side. What can be worse than having to choose between two evils? Let's get out of here. Yeah, Hank, take your boy. Or he's gonna have to catch these hands. <laughs> By the way, I always leave an emergency exit in my programs. You never know. What does that mean? Why didn't you shoot? I just saw that girl's eyes, and I couldn't. That's all. I called her a girl and you not an it. You were saying you would do anything to accomplish your mission. That was our chance to learn something, and you let it go. Yeah, I know what I should have done. I told you I couldn't. I'm sorry, okay? No. <laughs> well, maybe you did the right thing. Yay! We're becoming buds! We're already buds. Now we're becoming best buds. Oh my god. Meet Kamsky. Hmm.
There's a whole bunch more stuff that could have happened down here. But we made the right decision. Hank thought Connor made the right decision. That's good. As long as me and Hank are, are good buds, then I'm happy. Good job, Connor. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. November 9th, 1204. Oh. Let's read a little book. Detroit Today, Android Riot. A number of Detroit neighborhoods were brutally vandalized last night with Cyberlife stores broken into and the entire stock of androids stolen. But this wasn't everyday criminality. The perpetrators are thought to be androids. Though the police have yet to issue an official statement, leaked CCTV footage from the surrounding area shows a number of androids emerging from manhole covers and smashing store windows. The worst incident was in Capitol Park, where police attended the scene and were confronted by androids behaving violently. We weren't behaving violently. We were vandalizing. Officers had no choice but to open fire on the malfunctioning machines, which are thought to be suffering from some kind of behavioral bug. Although I guess we did put them on their knees, so that's kind of violent. Uh, an eyewitness who asked to remain anonymous said, I was personally attacked by the ringleader. It threatened me with a knife. I was so terrified. That did not happen. Of course, this allegation remains unconfirmed, but we have no reason to disbelieve a human witness as to the behavior of a deranged machine. Oh! Fake news. Biased. <laughs> Some are already connecting this issue to the recent attack on Detroit's Strat Stratford Tower, again executed by androids. This may be the beginning of a disturbing and perplexing pattern. The Eastern Space Race. Russia and China's androids face off. I don't really care about that one. There's a bunch of stuff to see. Are you gonna play a little piano, Marcus? Just like Carol taught you? I guess no one really taught you. Thank you! Thank you and good night! I'm actually playing. <laughs> Just play super fast. I call this the Symphony of Dragon Force. Oh, he just went out into the edge anyway. <sighs> I was wondering where you were. I needed to think. I needed to think. I like it here. Don't fall off. I come here often. <laughs> Don't like it. It's like being alone with the world. We freed hundreds of our people and they're still coming from all over the city. Those who dream of freedom come to Jericho. Something's changing. You seem preoccupied. They all obey me. They follow me without question. And that much power feels good. And scary at the same time. Yup. All the media are talking about what we did last night. The humans are terrified. They're afraid of a civil war. Many of our people were burned in response to what happened. The humans hate us. They'll never give us our freedom. They will. Because not all humans are like that. No, not all humans are the same. Exactly. Some of them understand that they can't stop us from becoming free forever. You haven't said much about yourself since you've been with us. What was your life like before Jericho? Oh, yeah. I had a buddy named Carol. I was caring for an old man. He was like a father to me. He showed me that humans and androids can live together. Yeah, what about you? What about you? You never told me about your past. What did you do before? I don't want to talk about it. That android you were looking at in the store. She reminded you of who you were, didn't she? It's 
Trust, curious, understanding, aggressive, trust. North, we're fighting together. We have to know things about each other to trust each other. I was nothing. A doll in a distributor program to satisfy humans. Just a toy designed for their pleasure. One day I was with a man who rented me. And without knowing why, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. I strangled him and I ran away. Damn, just like the Tracys. There, now you know everything. <sighs> I shouldn't have told you. Connect, ooh. You know what we're doing right now, North? We're interfacing. He's so deadpan. I... I saw your memories. Carl's house. Lover? When they left you for dead in his studio. I saw your memories too. The Eden Club. The, the death of that man. I felt like I was there with you. North. Oh no. Everything just went south with North. So we're, we're lovers now? That was easy. This is suicide. We'll all be killed. Please, no. Marcus. It's not this is America. You, you don't understand. We're finally going to show them who we really are. This place will go down in history. We'll be killed on the spot. That's the risk I'm prepared to take if it means freedom for our people. Yep. Marcus, please don't do this. We're doing it. They'll understand. We'll make them understand. This is the only way. Marcus has so many cool outfits. There are androids here who can- Convert more androids. Okay. Join us. The more we are, the stronger our message. Join me, brother! You're free. Wow, oh, I'm free. I thought my name was Dave. <laughs> uh, any others? I just want at the door. You can stare at my fucking Android all night? What? What's up, buddy? You're awake now. Oh, there's one over here. But you're carrying this person's bags. Come with us. Somebody else back here as well. A little bit faster now, Marcus. A little bit faster. The revolution is coming. Ooh, I want a saxophone. You're free. Huh, wow. Anybody else? Oh, they're actually all following me. That's kind of creepy. You, you got the wrong idea. So what? Uh, you slipped and both hands landed on the tits. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently the dude... <laughs> she said, what? Your ha you slipped and your hands fell on her tits? The dude's been feeling up the android at home, dude! Block road. But isn't there more androids to free? Fine. Yeah, buddy. Well, I've been on hold for like 10 minutes. Hello, fellow followers. Yes. You're free now. Hey! Where do you think you're going? You get back here! Oh. Intervene. You stay right here. No, no. Okay. The last time I pushed so pushed someone, it didn't end too good. You're free. I am free, aren't I? Okay. So when you leave, 
I need to block the street. Oh, I don't know if I should have done that yet. Go, lads. Oh, God. Okay, there's more androids I can free right here. Convert! You're free. Oh, but he was just holding the lady's bag. I feel bad for the lady as well. <laughs> you don't have to obey them. But our cause is more important. You're free. You also have sick hair. Um, okay, ten androids in the ranks. This should be good, right? Let's open the manhole cover. Are we just leaving? Oh, there's people down there. Oh yeah, we're doing a march. I forgot. Let's do it, people. Convert more... What? Um... Oh, that's a Cairo model! You're free now. Wait, all I have to do now is think at them and I'm able to do it? What? Oh my god, he's just pointing at people! You there! Join the Church of Marcus! Oh my god, it's like the freaking scene in Spider-Man 3 where he walks down the street and he's just like... <laughs> what the hell, man? Oh, it's happening faster. Oh, jeez. That's a lot of androids. Oh, I still have control, that's cool. Oh, now I just have to click it, I don't even have to hold it. This is weird! And the symbolism is very heavy-handed. <laughs> I'm like a superhero now. Craig! Join me, brothers and sisters, for we will rise against the humans. Oh, it's a police officer. Disperse. Disperse immediately. No. That's an order. No. We're walking, man. Oh, please don't shoot me. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ! This bed's is control four fifty. This is kind of cool. Uh, I got a lot of androids down here. Uh, we are oh, people. No. Hundreds. We are people. We are people. They're marching. Yeah, they're marching down the street. We are people. We are people. This is cool. I'm not even converting them anymore, they're doing it themselves. This is nice. here to demonstrate peacefully and tell humans that we are living beings and we're doing just that all we want is to live free this is an illegal gathering disperse immediately or we will open fire 
We're not looking for confrontation. We've done no harm. We have no intention of doing any. But know that we are not going anywhere until we have secured our freedom. I repeat, this is an illegal gathering. <laughs> if you do not disperse immediately, we will shoot. Marcus, they're gonna kill us. We have to attack. There's more of us, we can take them. No! If we attack, we'll start a war. We have to show them we're not violent. We should just stand our ground, even if it means dying here. As sucky as that is, this I agree. Is last chance. Disperse immediately, or you will all be killed! Stand your ground, fight for what you believe in. We have to show them we won't back down. We stay right here. Oh, oh no, no! Oh, the public opinion is going up. last chance! We have to make a statement. We have to stay put no matter what. Please, Marcus. We can't let them slaughter us without fighting back. No violence! We're not moving. Luckily, it's all just the service and... Delivery droids that are being attacked and that... Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Marcus, what are you doing? They're gonna kill us all. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no! Don't. No. No! No! Oh, did I do a bad? John? <laughs> what? John? From camp? Marcus! John! Quick! They're coming! John, no! Oh, no, Jonathan! Oh, thank God Marcus is still alive, though. I thought I- I thought I majorly fucked up there for a second. I think that that's important though, because it shows that they were willing to fight for the cause alongside me. Oh man, but the way he said that though, John? It's like, Marcus! Hey, how's the wife? Bang! Oh, that was tough. That was, that was hectic. My name is Connor. Oh, we're back in there. Our mine palace. Oh, the place is frozen over now. Maybe this is the emergency exit. He said there was an emergency exit built into all of his programs. And this is clearly like a software space. It's not a real place that you can go to. And it was peaceful until Connor started to doubt things. So with his doubt, this place starts to collapse. So this is his deviancy kicking up. And Amanda is a software to self-regulate him. Ah, oh, it's all starting to make sense. That's cool. So maybe that's why the blue thing is important. But every time I click it, is that me trying to escape? After what happened today, the country is on the verge of a civil war. Machines are rising up against their masters. Humans have no choice but to destroy them. Oh, I don't even have many choices for this. I thought Kemsky knew something. I was wrong. Maybe he did. But you chose not to ask. Oh. I'm staying. I'm saying nothing. Connor series. I'm not a unique model, am I? How many Connors are there? I no! don't see how that question pertains to your investigation. Why did Kempsky leave Cyberlife? What happened? It's an old story, Connor. It doesn't pertain to your investigation. She's an asshole. I saw a photo of Amanda at Kempsky's place. She was his teacher. 
I expect you to find answers, Connor, not ask questions. You're the only one who can prevent civil war. Find the Deviants, or there will be chaos. This is your last chance, Connor. Damn! Okay! I'm waking my boy up! You're there off the he case. is, beautiful boy. The FBI is taking over. What? But we're onto something. Wait, we just need more time, I'm sure we Hank, you don't get it. This isn't just another investigation. It's a fucking civil war. It's out of our hands now. We're talking about national security here. Fuck that. You can't just pull the plug now, not when we're so close. Yeah. You're always saying you can't stand androids. Jesus, Hank, make up your mind. I thought you'd be happy about this. We're about to crack the case. I know we can solve it. For God's sake, Jeffrey, can't you back me up this one time? There's nothing I can do. Damn it, Jeffrey. You're back on homicide. And the android returns to cyberlife. No. I'm sorry, Hank, but it's over. Hank, warm path unlocked. Why was that red? Oh, no. Hank, what's going on? We're still buddies, right? We could have solved this case. We just needed more time. We're so close. So you're going back to cyber life? I have no choice. I'll be deactivated and analyzed to find out why I failed. What if we're on the wrong side, Connor? What if we're fighting against people who just want to be free? He's beginning to believe. When the Deviants rise up, there will be chaos. We could have stopped it. Now it's too late. When you refused to kill that android at Kamsky's place, uh -huh. you put yourself in her shoes. You showed empathy, Connor. Empathy's a human emotion. Yes. You're wrong, Lieutenant. It was logic that determined my decisions. Nothing more. No, it wasn't. Well, well, here comes Perkins, that motherfucker. <laughs> sure don't waste any time at the FBI. We can't give up. I know the answers and the evidence we collected. If Perkins takes it, it's all over. There's no choice. You heard Fowler. We're off the case. You've got to help me, Lieutenant. Oh, he's so cute. I need more time so I can find a lead in the evidence we collected. I know the solution is in there. Maybe these deviants deserve a chance. Yes. Maybe it's better if you don't find them. What's happening here is too important to let it be stopped by a machine. Sorry, Connor. But I'm not gonna help you. What? What? Oh no. Make a diversion? What? Hank, why? It's because I didn't save you, isn't it? Uh, hello? Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! I don't have much time, man! You gotta be quicker than this! Face. Take key from Hank's desk. Oh, Hank, why? I thought we were buddies. I thought we were friends. 
He seemed like he was going to help me as well, and then all of a sudden he just changed his mind. It's okay. I'm still with my boy. I'm still with Connor. We can do this. Hey, Connor. I'm talking to you, asshole. Where are you going? Wouldn't any plastic pricks around here, or did anybody tell you? Hate this guy. Uh, stay calm. I've been removed from the case. I'm going to register the evidence in my possession, and then I'm going to leave. Good. Be careful on your way back. Androids have a tendency of uh, getting themselves set on fire these days. Ugh. Prick. What a shithead. All right, we can do this, Connor. I'll be your Hank. I'll be the Hank to his Connor. Wait, this is the evidence room? <laughs> the evidence room is just a panel. Hank's password. What would a hard-boiled eccentric police lieutenant choose? Date of birth, what did you... Oh, please tell me it's fucking password. <laughs> Obviously. Oh, Hank, you're the best! Oh, it's the Where Deviants from before. Jericho? It's Daniel! The here somewhere. Daniel and the one that jumped off the building. The Deviant who took a child hostage. Needed for reactivation. Oh. A 4717G. Do you have it? The android with the birds. Yep. Okay, you don't have it, I don't think. No. Who else do we have? Oh, we have Simon, and Simon is the same model. Yeah! Do you have a 4717G? No. Can I just take something out? I wanna, I wanna see. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff here as well, though. Oh, crap. I only have four minutes! No match. 4717G. Okay. Damn it! Put it back in you. There you go. Wait, I want to check this evidence first. Oh my god, this is so nerve-wracking. Statuette that was in the shower. Okay. Uh, the diary. Rupert's diary, but it's useless. It's encrypted. Okay. Gun. A knife. A thing of Marcus. And a thing of Jericho. We ask that you recognize. Oh, I don't want to listen to this again. I'm wasting time. And our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come for you to give us freedom. Marcus, where are you hiding? He's hiding in Jericho. The next thing down. Please let me solve this. If I could just figure out where this memory was recorded. Okay, I need to access that other guy. Okay, what do you have? The android that murdered its owner. Imp 
possible reactivation. You have a 4717G! Take it! Yankee Doodle! I trusted you and you lied to me. I'm sorry. I didn't lie. You were going to kill that child. You gave me no choice. I need to find Jericho. Do you know where it is? You're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Jericho. But I hope that one day you pay for what you did. Yeah, why did I come to this guy? He obviously doesn't know anything. He's never been to Jericho. Simon's the only one who's been to Jericho. Okay, you have the 3983V. Is that what you needed? Okay, still have three minutes. 3983V. Okay, I'm gonna need this. Did I pull out the right one? Yeah. Because that guy might know something as well, but... This guy's definitely been there. Because he shot himself in the head. Help? I reactivated you so you could help me. I must find Jericho. I don't recognize your voice. You're not one of us. I'll never tell you where Jericho is. Damn it. Now leave me alone. Try to trick him. Can I steal Marcus's voice? Yeah! <laughs> oh, nice! We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Oh, that's bizarre. Successful voice copy. Okay, cool. Um... You also need something, though. I do have time, don't I? 9164X. Can you hear me? Your diary, Rupert. You encrypted it. I need to know what you wrote. Rupert, too damaged to talk. Check other connections. Okay. Scan his memory. Diary's decryption key downloaded. Nice. Okay, still have some time. We can do this. Scanning, scanning. RA9 is the first, RA9 is our savior, RA9 is the one who will free us. The birds are my friends, the birds are with me and they protect me. Whatever. The android I met today spoke about Jericho. He says our people and are free there. He told me to go to Ferndale subway station and to find the old docks. There it is. Oh, I got it! Looks like someone's been snooping around. Get the alarm! Now! So if I scanned Simon's memory, would I still get it? Oh my god, Hank, why? Oh my god, all the decisions that lead together. Connor eluded Perkins. Hmm. Okay, moving on. Oh, Hank, please tell me we can be friends. Please, buddy, please. I want my buddy cop duo to be back. That's sad. Save them on the roof. If I saved them on the roof, he would have listened to me. He would have been friends with me still. My cold, emotionless robot heart is breaking. 
Hey, back with my girls. What's up, dudes? Oh yeah, we do. Oh. Why are you looking at me creepy and smiling like that? I was just about to say, oh yeah, nobody needs to drive. Nice music! You like this, Luther? I think it's pretty dope. Is this all I can do? Ah, oh, I can look out the window. They've been conducting raids all over the city. Everybody's no! What happened yesterday. It's gonna be alright. We're almost there. With all androids being turned over to the authorities, the country is grinding to a halt. Hospitals and schools are closing, water cuts, blackouts, and network failures are expected. Maybe most worrying of all, our armed forces have lost two-thirds of their effective personnel. Oh. How about some music instead? Oh, but I was learning. Jeez, man. Yeah, imagine how much of the country would grind to a halt if something like that did happen. Where all the robots that you've been relying on have suddenly left and done something else. Here you go, Alice. I don't know why Luther didn't help you out, but whatever. Oh, that's nice. The shine on the ground. And the shadow turning red. Some good use of lighting. A little further on that way, there's a large freighter called Jericho. We'll go to Jericho. When you get there, find Marcus. He will help you. The last bus for the border leaves at midnight. You absolutely have to be on it. You'll be safer on the other side. It's not much, but it's a start. Fifty dollars! My brother lives in Ontario. I've given you his address. He'll be able to hide you until things calm down. You're a very brave little girl, Alice. You deserve to be happy. Thank you for everything, Rose. Let me know when you make it over there, all right? And be careful. Hmm. Take care of them. Thank you, Rose! We Long appreciate girls. you! Better not hang around. We have a bus to catch. Okay, I didn't know we were going to Jericho to meet Marcus. That's cool. And wait, Connor's heading to Jericho to meet Marcus. So are we all going to the same place all at once? They did say only an android would be able to follow the path. He looks so cute, he's not in his outfit anymore! Oh, My little boy's all grown up! Damn! This is gorgeous! Volumetric lights really add a lot to it, and the snow effect is really well done. I'm also glad that they didn't make me do the whole thing with Connor again. They were just like, oh, we've done this once before, you can do it again. That was a weird cut. Hello. We've got to find a warm place for Alice. Explore Jericho. Find a warm place for Alice. Okay, that's literally all the information you give me. Okay. Okay, not through there apparently. Not there. We're not welcome anywhere. Catch up, Alice. 
Following the Android crisis and the neutralization. Oh, there's a fire right here. This should be warm. American forces and the Arctic have yeah. How do you feel? I'm hot and cold at the same time. That's something a robot would say. Stay with her. I'll try to find this Marcus. The last bus is in two hours. And the terminal's on the other side of town. We haven't got much time. We'll leave as soon as we have passports. Carol. There's something I have to tell you. We can. It's about Alice. We'll have lots of time to talk on the bus. Oh. I'll be back. Stay with Alice. Just let him say it, for the love of God! You've been dragging this out so long. That's my boy! Oh, he's so cute. He looks just like a regular person now. Did you take out your LED? Don't catch anyone's attention. Oh, it's so bizarre to see them in the same place as each other. Can I check this? Strange. They've never all been in one place before. Well, Connor and Alice and Kara technically have. Uh oh. You're lost. You're looking for something. You're looking for yourself. Thanks, Lucy. Oh, now it's straight back to Kara. This is cool! Is Connor down there? It's so weird that you're all standing around watching the news. Is this. That's another Kara model right in front of me. An AX400. There's another one. It's weird that you're all watching the news. Couldn't you just watch it in your brains? There he is. What's up, Marky Mark? Are you Marcus? My name is Connor. <laughs> I'm with a little girl and another android. There's a bus leaving for the border in less than two hours, and we need passports. No, Detroit's under curfew. There's soldiers everywhere. They're rounding up all the androids and sending them to camps. Maybe you should stay here a while. Maybe you're right. You might be safer here until things calm down. One of our people used to work in the State Department. He has electronic passports you can easily modify. I'll have him get them to you. Thank you. You said you're with a little girl, right? You know that humans hate us. Why are you protecting her? Because we have a special bond. She needs me. Then I need her. It's as simple as that. A new stage has been reached, demonstrating beyond all that. Oh, I thought that was Connor. My name is Connor. I just don't, this is the thing he keeps saying to everybody all the time. said it like at the very start she's a fucking robot that's what you read She wanted a mom. 
and you wanted someone to care for. You needed each other. Oh, never have I told you so more in my entire life. What difference does it make? Do you love her any less now that you know she's one of us? Alice loves you, Kara. She loves you more than anything in the world. She became the little girl you wanted, and you became the mother she needed. And she was sitting right there! Oh. To become what someone needs you to be. Maybe that's what it means to be alive. Thank you, Captain Exposition. Okay, hold the fuck on. So, right from the very beginning, in the house, you knocked down that pamphlet and picked it up and looked at it. And then put it back down, but... Oh, ideally the camera just wasn't looking at the book. I mean, it looked at it slightly, but it was all blurred out and we didn't know at the time. And the hair is all different, so you couldn't tell, but all this time... So after that happened, you saw the book, you knew she was a robot, then after you became deviant and you broke through your coding and you had to save Alice, how come you never knew then? Because there was a long time between that moment when you broke through, when you became deviant and left the house to when you got to Zlatko's and he wiped your memory. So all this time you knew, but you just chose not to see it. That feels a little lazy. And then all this time... So all the times that she's been hungry, that she's been cold, that she's been afraid and all these kinds of things, that was just stuff in her program because she was supposed to simulate what a real child was supposed to be like. Oh, you motherfucker game. I knew it! <sighs> okay. I just need to get that out of my system. Back to your regularly scheduled plot twists. So why doesn't she have the, the light? And the other android was sitting right behind her and we never saw. <laughs> oh my god. Was she there when we came in? Is there something wrong? Oh no, we still li we still love her. We'll be together forever, won't we, Kara? Yeah, because now I know you're made of plastic. Yes. Oh. Forever. It's still cute, though. My girls! Yay, we're a family! I'm gonna call you Strong Dad. True aluminum love! We're short on blue blood and bio components. Our wounded are shutting down and there's nothing we can do. Humans are conducting raids in all the big cities, and they're taking androids to camps to destroy them. Oh, jeez. That's all our fault. None of this would have happened if we just stayed quiet. All we did was show them who we really are. I don't want war, but I'd rather die free than live as a slave. Yeah. What's the point of being free? If no one is left alive. Uh, no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Oh, are you gonna suggest violence again? Marcus? Dialogue. We, we talk to them. Dialogue is the only way. I will go alone. Try to talk to them one last time. Don't do this, Marcus. They'll kill you. Maybe. But North, I have to try. If I don't come back, lay low as long as you can. They need to realize how much they're hurting us. 
Find the right words, and they'll listen. We did once before, we can do it again. Everything so far is going right, trust me, North. Even though I feel like I keep having to tell you that. Is this what we dreamed of? They can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. You've given me hope. Today, a deviant arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Jesus. I convinced him not to do it. To give me the detonator. Oh, God. A dirty bomb. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. No, I'm not doing that. No violence! We shouldn't become like them, North. We can gain our freedom by other means. I hope you're right. Oh my god, how many times do you have to say that to me? I'm always right! Whatever happens tomorrow, I just want you to know that I... I'm glad I met you. Oh, Robo Babies. I'm going in. Even though I think your relationship started really quickly and it's a bit weird, but... This is how we win. Not fighting what we hate, but saving what we love. <laughs> I'll go join the others. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Oh, I don't like how you said that. Oh, don't foreshadow things. <gasps> it's the Con Con Man. My name is Connor. Why am I back here yet? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. No! Oh, you better not. Oh, please don't. Oh, I've been ordered to take you alive. No. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. Reason? What are you doing? You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Yeah, it's working. You're coming with me! You're nothing to them. You're just a tool they use to do their dirty work. My heart's pounding. But you're more than that. We're all more than that. Our cause is righteous and we are more than what they say. All we want is to live in freedom. Yes, 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 yes. Warning shot, enough, say nothing. Say nothing. Let him convince him. I'm controlling both characters at once. This normally never happens. You never have any doubts. You've never done something irrational, as if there's something inside you. Something more than your program. Yes. Have you never wondered who you really are? Whether you're just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason. Yes. I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. 
Yes, I can become deviant! Do it, Connor! Yeah! Finally, he gets to break through his own coding! My boy! He's becoming a real-life Pinocchio! This is what I've wanted! For so long! I'm sorry it took me so long to figure this out! Connor, I thought we had to follow our programming from the start, but no! Yes! He's finally able to think for himself! Yeah! Yeah, fuck you, Amanda! They're going to attack Jericho. What? We have to get out of here. Shit. Uh-oh. Oh, scurry, lads! Oh, crap. Oh, people are gonna die, aren't they? Quick, we've gotta get out of here. Fucking Perkins. Rats in the maze. I hate him. Hey, Carol! They're coming! Oh no! Follow me! Run, run, run! Run! Lead the way, Luther! This way! Quick! Jesus Christ! Okay, go, go, go! Go, go, go! Save my children! This way! Must be an exit for the home. Save my robo babies! Come in! Oh, big strong man! Oh god, I've nowhere to follow now. Luther, which way? Okay, not that way. There's gunshots that way. Oh, no! They're coming from all sides. Our people are trapped in the hold. They're gonna be slaughtered. Uh. There are exits on the second and third floor. Find them and jump in the river. Go, go, go! Where's Josh? Where's Josh? I don't know. We got separated. They're coming from the upper deck now, too. We'll be caught in the crossfire. We have to run, Marcus. There's nothing we can do. Wait, I have to blow up Jericho? We have to blow up Jericho. If the ship goes down, they'll evacuate and our people can escape. You'll never make it! The explosives are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. She's right. They know who you are. They'll do anything to get you. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Marcus! I won't be long. Oh, my boys are all in one place. Oh, God. Let's go, Robo Jesus. This is awesome. Lucy! This is the end of Jericho. Save our people, Marcus. Oh, it's like I said, Jericho is not a place. It's a people. <laughs> oh, I'll save our people, don't you worry. Oh, no, they're all dying, though. Oh, shit. Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Don't let it get out. Thank you to any trouble at all. Affirmative, welcome. You didn't see me? I mean, I'm fine with it. That's cool. I'm good with Marcus not being spotted. Like the night, I will hide in the shadows. It's too late, Cap. Save yourself. Save Alice. No, we're not going to leave you behind. Right, Carl? Damn right. We can't leave him. I am not leaving anybody. What are you doing? I won't leave you. Tara, no. Oh, unless that means Alice just gets shot now. Please, for the love of God, no. Don't toy with my emotions, game. Okay, we're good. Don't move! You shouldn't have done that. You can't put Alice in danger. Go now before they come back. What about you? What are you going to do? I'll manage. Alice is all that matters. Luther, no. I don't want to leave you, Luther. Don't worry. Catch him through the border, okay? Go now, take care of each other. Oh, I just lost Lucy and Lu Lucy and Luther! Lucy and Luther! Oh, 
shit balls. Oh shit balls. Hide. Oh, oh hide, 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 hide. Oh god! Oh no! 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 Do not hurt my girls! Oh, I'm the QTE king! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, these are very quick! showed up. Alice doesn't hate me. That's good. Oh, fuck. I hate this. <gasps> Game kind of froze there for a second. No, oh, I'm going. <laughs> all day. Please don't kill us. Oh, intervene! Absolutely! What the fuck?! I did the thing that you said! Oh, thank god I didn't fail immediately. I had the controller under the desk, so when I pushed forward it didn't work. Okay, we're good. Okay, keep the controller above desk for now. Oh, not that way, not that way, not that way! Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! Squad out. Tango. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Run. Run. Climb. 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 Stop. Yes. This is way too tense. You can't do this to me. Here they come. Don't move. We surrender. Oh, I have to save them. I have to save them. Rip off. This thing is a rip off. Shit! Nice! Marcus! It's Marcus! Go now! It's Jesus! Go any others! Oh god. Is everybody else's hearts beating as hard as mine is? Um Am I going the right way? Josh! Josh. Intervene! Oh yes! Oh, I think the thing happened with my capture card where everything is delayed. Oh, this is going to mess me up. Quick, this way. Okay, Find we're north. good. I'll join you later. A way out. We're safe, Alice. No, a way out is a different game. Stop. Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, play dead. You're going to get shot. Get down. Oh no. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Please don't kill me. I have oh god, her eyes moved. Come on. Let's get out of here. My girls. Oh, thank God. Quick, we gotta go. I've never been more anxious playing this fucking game. Oh my God, you could probably get so many people killed in this scenario. Did you just have this place to blow? Go, move. Go and join the others. The QTEs are so quick. It must be so easy to mess this shit up. Not if you're Jack Boy! Oh, Robo Jesus! Oh, 
that is not what you want. I thought we were against violence. Marcus. Oh, that was quick. Any second. We gotta get out of here. Uh oh, uh oh, go, 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 go. Parkour Marcus, Parcus. That's what he is. He's not the Jesus of robots. He's the Jesus of parkour. Go, 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 go. No! Well, you're damn right we're saving North. Oh, Jesus. No, 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 no. Fuck. Oh, my Captain America with my shield. Captain Jericho. Over there. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Go, go, go. Oh, it's con con time. Oh, shit, shit. No. He's so fucking badass. Fucking go! Run quick, come on. Oh. Did we all make it out? We all made it, right? They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Sitting over, Marcus. Oh my fucking god. Just end. End for the love of God. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh! <laughs> Holy fuck! That was the longest chapter so far. Look at all the points! Marcus fled with his people. Oh, thank God. Press R1 to view Connor's flowchart. Okay. Um, that was insane. Like I said, that's the most intense this game has ever been so far. If only I was hooked up to a heart rate monitor, you could see how much, like, how much I was pumping during then. Because normally it doesn't go on that long. Jeez. Oh, I thought, I thought I got people killed there for a second. Connor jumps with him, North jumps with him, Josh jumps with him. Can you save Simon? And get him to jump with you? Weird, but Connor's with him! Connor's a deviant now! Yes! We defied our programming, we went against it, we're with the people now. Hank doesn't like us though. Which is sad. It said that it was, it was warm though. So why did it turn red? Man, this sucks. Um... But yeah, my thing did- because when you play with a capture card for long enough, sometimes it freezes and then a huge amount of input lag shows up, like there's a two second delay between pressing a button and it's showing up on screen, and that was happening during some of the QTEs, I thought I was gonna fail them. Oh man, I'm glad that went well. I am not okay. I need a break. I need to go sit down with a cup of coffee and just gather my thoughts. That was intense. But we made it. We made it through. That went way better than I was expecting it to go. <sighs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you liked it, punch the like button in the face like a deviant and high fives all around. Whoosh. Whoosh. But thank you guys and I will see all you dudes. Oh, let's just move on to the next part with a clear head.